there any questions that Chris or Nancy you would like to answer live? I would like to quickly show uh, the uh, the output that I mentioned during my talk, but wasn't quite finished yet. So it, it did finish in the course of the rest of our conversation. In fact, it was it was done about a minute after I handed the the reins over to Rick. So just briefly, I wanted to show you the output of the application. If you preview what the CNMP would look like, here's our setback maps, and then. Uh, you, you also have a you know documentation about the setback area and spreadable acreage, uh, and then also all the soil type maps that are required by a CNMP are here as well. So again, just wanted to kind of close the loop on that piece. Thank you. Sort of express the answers to questions that were typed up. I'll I'll go ahead and take uh, you know at least one of the uh, one of the good questions that came up regarding uh, what I was sharing, and that was where do these field boundary shape files come from? Um, you know. Are they available? Are they in the public domain? Or, or where would you expect to find them? Um, farmers who work with an independent crop consultant or an ag retailer, maybe to pull soil samples or to um, apply lime or potash or any, any nutrient, those folks definitely have a good set of field boundary shape files that they, that they can share with the producer or with a TSP and upload into my farms on the grower's behalf. Uh, if a farmer is not working with a professional in that capacity, they could also go to NRCS or an, a Swan Water Conservation District where they have access to conservation desktop, and many times they can export field boundaries that way. Or uh, many farmers have access to an FSA application called farmers.gov where they can also export their field boundaries as shapefiles. So there's a few different sources for that data, and that's, uh, that's what I shared as well. Another person asked uh, regarding WebMMP and whether it's ready for, for them to start using. And, and if I wasn't clear there. It is ready to be used today for the purpose of uh, generating manure application setback maps like those I just showed. Um, also, if you're operating in Ohio, it's ready to go for the full comprehensive nutrient management planning uh, experience as well. So, uh, so that's the quick answer to that question. Over to you, Nancy. All right. I have a question about um, how the range of dates that we had got receive data from. And really, we just said, we'll accept whatever data labs have that they're willing to give and can are extract from their system. So a lot of it depended on their data management systems over the years and how their limb systems could export data. So yeah, some we only have, you know, the last few years, last five or 10 years was probably real, you know, very common. But in some cases, you know, a lab went back to 1998. So good on them for being able to extract that and, and so forth. So that's how we ended up with our range, range that way. Uh, another, the tech stack for MinerDB, um, it was the prototype database was developed as a Python web app using a SQLite3 database and a Linux VM now deploys the web application. So, uh, and regarding if individual producers can share samples, um, we, we would definitely be interested, especially if you could help um, provide some of those more detailed information about like manure storages, animal types, you know, if there's bedding and that sort of thing, just to make the database more robust. Or if we could even work, I mean, we've, you know, talk maybe even to some of the um, livestock commodity groups about, you know, working together or even some integrators possibly in the future. So if there's any connections in that way, you know, those are definitely some things we are um, interested in exploring. So thank you. I'll just comment on the uh, scenarios of treatment systems uh, that the Manure Tech uh, Decision Support Tool would address. Um, Obviously, there's an infinite number of those, and in our first round, we've tried to uh, uh, pick out the most uh, common or, or uh, likely scenarios that people would look at. And uh, but if somebody does have uh, ideas for what uh, what they'd like considered, uh, please pass them along, and we will see if and when those can be uh, included. All right, uh, seeing, seeing that, hopefully we were able to address your questions today and give you some interest in these tools that are either being released as we speak or uh, 
soon to soon to come uh, to bear. And I um, encourage you to follow up and look for the archive version and see if you can get anything uh, additional out of the, these webinars. And I remind you one last time, uh, next month we're going to be looking at uh, management related to nitrogen uh, in our field application of manure. So with that, take care, everyone, and we will bring this to a close. Thank you.